The next topic is inventory. Peachtree's inventory functionality tracks the products and services that your company buys and sells. As inventory related transactions are posted to the general ledger, the quantities and cost of goods amounts for stock and assembly items are updated. It's sometimes necessary to adjust inventory levels so that they agree with the physical count. Inventory adjustments can also be used to reduce the stock of items that were used for a job. To enter an inventory adjustment, select Inventory Adjustments from the Inventory Navigation Center. The quantity on hand of an inventory item can be increased or decreased using the Inventory Adjustments window. To increase the quantity on hand, enter a positive number into the Adjust Quantity By field and enter the cost of each item in the Unit Cost field. Or, to decrease the quantity on hand, enter a negative number into the Adjust Quantity By field. Peachtree calculates the cost of a negative adjustment using the costing method assigned to the item. Select a general ledger account from the GL Source Account field. Inventory adjustments affect the inventory account and the account entered into this field. In the Unit Cost field, enter the cost of the item if the adjustment is increasing the quantity on hand. You cannot enter a value into this field if your inventory adjustment is negative. When you enter a negative adjustment to decrease the quantity on hand of an item, the program calculates the cost based on the chosen costing method. Inventory reports provide both historical information and information about the current status of inventory items. To preview or print these reports, select View All Inventory and Services Reports from the Inventory and Services Navigation Center. The Bill of Materials report lists assemblies and information on components including the number and cost of each component and the estimated cost to build an assembly. The Cost of Goods Sold Journal lists the total cost for each item sold at the time of the sale and the accounts that were debited or credited. It is also used to verify that the general ledger postings for cost of goods sold and inventory accounts for sales transactions are correct. The Inventory Profitability Report displays each stock or assembly item with units sold, costs, gross profit, and gross profit percentage for the selected accounting periods. This report is useful for identifying items that contribute the most to gross profit and item sales information. And the items list provides a list of inventory items and assemblies. This report can be used to track quantities on hand of items and assemblies.